the stairs, you just take them one step at a time. I don't look anywhere but where my feet are going. Once I'm on that 10 meter platform, I hear the cheers and I drill through my dive. I close my eyes and I visualize myself doing it. Centralized, focused. I hear the whistle go and then it is just silence. I'm Andrea Spendalini Syriax. I'm a Team GB athlete and I'm a 10 meter diver. My journey so far has been quite tumultuous. Tumultuous? Tum tumultuous? <laughs> Is that right? I love diving because it's so peculiar. I just feel like a feather. Like I feel light and springy. I go in the water and usually you just feel like a bullet. Even though I've been doing it for 11 years now, 11 years now, it's still peculiar, but it's so beautiful at the same time. But it was not easy, eh? When mama was taking you, you know, with the car straight after school, remember? Straight from school, and then I had to get changed in the car. Yeah, no. Eat dinner in the car. In the car, yes, yeah. and then do some homework. Yeah. I've gone through a lot with diving and it's shaped who I am, not just who I am as a diver, but who I am as an athlete. And the drive and the focus and the determination that I have at training, I brought into my school. Andrea is incredible. She's got a mindset and a belief in herself where she can push to win. Matteo, who's the better cook, me or Mama? Mama. Matteo. <laughs> <laughs> who's the better cook, me or Mama? Mama. Who does the better carbonara? Me. Me. No, I said me. You pointed at me. When I first started on the senior field, I was 12 or 13. I, mean, I was a little scrawny kid, you know. I had no meat on me, nothing. And I always just throw myself off Temia like the others, like the adults, except I was just a passenger in every, every single time. I was just there for, the, for fun. Nothing is expected out of you when you're the underdog. It's like a superpower. What I found going into competitions where no one knew my name, no one knew what I looked like. Well, I'm gonna have fun then. If you don't expect anything out of me, I'm gonna have fun. And that's how I perform at my best. When I'm enjoying myself, stress-free, pressure-free, just diving because I love it. My performance is so much better. The mentality Andrea has is to be better and to improve every day. It's not about the middle all the time. It's about how to be better and to improve. To prep a difficult dive, you have to break down the skills. And the dry dive, we focus a lot on strength and conditioning, fitness, cardio. We use simulations that replicate the pool. Dry land training is about the physicality, the strength, the speed, all the articulation you need to make sure the diver is aware of what he's doing in the air. It's a performing art, it's a performing sport. People base you off of your performance at that competition. They don't understand the pain that you carry. They don't really care that on that day, something's happened. Yeah, you had a bit of a time there, yeah? You had uh, this little, uh, you know, problem with you and yourself when you were 13. Coming back from that competition, you just done fourth place and First thing you say to me, oh, mom, I don't want to dive anymore. And I was like, what? No, it can't be possible. Well, first off, I didn't want to start diving because my mom forced me to start diving. So that's probably the first time that I didn't want to do diving. But once, once my career started, I didn't really want it to stop until it got too hard for my brain. This is a time where I'm going through that adolescent period. I don't know what's going on with my body. I don't know what's happening. I'm in that rebellious phase. I just want to stay at home and do nothing like my friends at school. 
I'm having panic attacks at school because I'm worried about training. Panic attacks at training because I'm worried about training. My mum was at every session and she'd threaten to take her shoes off and come up the board and I would jump off every single time. I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. Around the time of Budapest, I was struggling. That period of time was incredibly difficult. I just didn't perform. So as much as it was painful, it was also the best kick in the butt I could ever have asked for. Sometimes you learn the most when you're at rock bottom than when you're just doing the best all the time. Having that strong person behind you that won't let you give up, as much at the time I really didn't like, it's something now that I value so much. My mom is my superhero. We've endured a lot together. My mom means everything to me. It's that kind of relationship that I'll never take for granted because she's taught me how to be a strong woman. My family means so much to me because they really dropped everything for my sport. As athletes, we have a privilege to represent our country and I've, I've learned that privilege and that gratitude through how highly she speaks of my sport and how highly she speaks of me, to me, to other people. It's so nice to feel that loved. We believe in you, Andrea. You could do it. If somebody could do it, it was you. It's every athlete's dream to compete in the Olympics and it's an even bigger dream to medal at one. And so, this is what I've been working for since Tokyo. It all starts in training and it all starts with how hard am I working. It all starts with how much effort and how much dedication am I putting into my training. I can hear my heart beating and I can hear my breath. Not only physically but mentally it's so challenging to throw yourself off. We do have successes but we do have really low moments and it's about what confidence do you have in yourself. She understands what it takes to win, what it takes to get made up, and she's more determined than ever. I love the fact that I travel the world. I love the fact that I'm not normal. I love the fact I have a family outside of my family at home. The most important thing at a competition isn't the medal, it's the memories, the moments that no one can take away and that you will bring for the rest of your life.